Dog, I was on the phone one time in the subway on like fucking Harlem, yeah. and I had my back to the train, and the chick tapped me on the shoulder, and I was on the phone. I'm like, she's like, hello? Hello, and I'm on the phone with Josh Wolf, and I go, hold on one second. I just turned, and this chick was beautiful, but somebody had punched her right in the <laughs> fucking eye mm-hmm. that even the middle was red. like I, It was like a, a, a white head with blood in it. Oh. That's what her eye looked like. Yeah. And I'm like, can I help you? And I'll never forget this. She goes, for five dollars and a light, I'll suck your dick. And even the guy on the phone, Josh <laughs> Wolf, heard it. And I go, did you hear that? And he goes, yes, I did. What is that? I go, oh, let me call you back. <laughs> and I go, what is wrong with you? And she goes, for five dollars and a, and, a, and a light, I'll suck your dick so fucking good. And I just started fucking with her. Like that's, I'm a comic. Like, yeah. So what happened to your eye? <laughs> right. Oh, I fell. So what do you want the five dollars for? I need to eat something. She was white and cute, and she's talking like a black chick. Like I needs to eat something. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, but what do you have to? What do you? What's the lighter for? Uh, uh, you do drugs? Never. I mean, this went on for forty minutes. I missed three or four trains. <laughs> oh, yeah. The fuck up was I didn't have a cell phone or a video. I would have said, I'm gonna give you five dollars, another twenty at the end. Let me tape this conversation. Yeah, I would have had a million views on that. She went from. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. You're going to let me suck your dick or not for $5. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I don't know. You got a black eye. Well, let me ask you a question. If you, if a chick came up to you and wanted to suck your dick with a black eye, there's got to be some uh, property value damage. Oh, yeah. There's damage to the eye. Oh, yeah. So let me make you an offer. How about $2 in a book of matches? And I, just, <laughs> I just kept fucking with her. And she's like, fuck you, you fat motherfucker. You probably can't get it up anyway. And, and she kept fighting me back. And finally yeah. she walked 50 steps, and she came back, and she goes, $3. Like, she was oh, fucked. Oh, my, my God. God. And this, you can't write this, but it wouldn't have happened if I didn't play the hand. If I was a regular schmuck and said, no, 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 I'm not interested. Go away. She would have ran away and said, fuck you. But I had to play the hand. That's how low she got herself. Like She's like, okay, okay, last deal. She's like, $3 and I'll suck your dick. And that's it. That's my bottom line. And I'm like, admit to me that you smoke crack. (laughs) And she's like, fuck you. Okay, okay, I smoke crack. I go, how many times a week? Uh... Just once. No! <laughs> Tell me the truth. And she's like, okay, I've smoked it twice. Nobody gets a fucking black eye if they don't smoke fucking crack. And then she just broke that. Yeah. And I just peeled off like a 10. <sighs> Let me tell you something. She took that 10. She didn't even go up for sunlight. She ran back into the train. Like when they live in the train, she oh, just wow. ran back in there. And I'm going to be honest with both people here and all podcast listeners. This girl was so hot. I would have fucked her. With the black guy, with two black guys, without the black guy. I know I'm scared of getting a half a hiv, so I wouldn't have fucked her. But <laughs> my point being that I had to play the hand out with it. I would have, guys, I would have taught, if she, this girl didn't have a black eye, I could have brought her around. Nobody would have known she was a crack whore. Mm-hmm. Her teeth were still intact. She was in the beginning of her crack uh, deteriorating. <laughs>